can think of to put out. Well, now you've said it. There we go. Here's the blue for you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Cause of my own downfall. Hello and welcome to Balls Knowledge, where I get your favourite creators to do three rounds of a quiz, all for Prostate Cancer UK, and you can see who comes out number one by the end of whenever I decide to finish doing these. I like to have a fun guest on every single time, and this particular guest decided that she saw Joe Wayneman's score last week, uh, decided to put in the comments of that quiz her answers to a lot of the questions, and basically say, I can blow that out of the water. So, the the mantle has been picked up, the challenge has been accepted. Welcome, today's guest, Evie. Hello, Evie. How are you doing? Hello. I'm good. I kind of feel like I'm the the cause of of many many you know red faces and probably make myself look ridiculous, but it's all fine because it's for a great cause. I don't think you'll be that embarrassed. I think I've been reasonably nice with these questions. They're not the worst. Okay. If you didn't watch last week, uh, we have three rounds. I've gone through this with Evie, but this is for you guys. Uh, round one is the basics. Round two is ups and downs. It's a higher or lower like segment. And then round three, we have the long list. I'll get into the rules on that a little bit later. So before we get into the basics, what sort of score are you thinking you'll get? We had Joe get 29. Do you think higher, lower, about the same? What, what was it out of? 40. 40. Every time it's going to be out of 40. If I can get half then that's okay, because back when I did my GCSEs, if you got about 50%, it was a C. So I'm all right with that, because that would count as a pass. So You've passed yeah, if I can, yeah, if I can get 20, then then I'm very, very happy. Anything less than that, I might have to go into hiding for a little bit. By that logic, I think Joe is a medium A. So how are we feeling on the fact that you've just given Joe a mid A on his GCSEs? Uh, I kind of feel that he will bring this up the next time I speak with him and um, kind of hammer me down a peg or two. So, yeah, by that logic, I probably need to beat him just for my own kind of sanity. I was going to say, you might you might need to win this one just to sort of like stamp yeah. that bit of authority. So, round one is the basics. So, we're going to start with a fairly nice question. In what postcode will you find Elland Road Stadium? LS11. You looked a little bit more scared than you should have there. Oh, you, God. You, you, you I knew it was LS, but my God. I don't even... Oh, okay. Thank God. That's one. Yes. This one's a little bit... There, there we go. We've not completely flunked it. It's fine. You've, you've put your name on the paper, and that's what counts. <laughs> yes. Who is officially re recognised as Leeds United's club captain? Uh, Liam Cooper. Two out of two. There we go. 100%. <sighs> Call it there. Points per game it. Fantastic. Exactly. Let's just leave yeah. it there. Uh, I would, but I like this next question. Which current Leeds United player has scored the most goals at the club? Uh, Somerville. In their time at Leeds United overall. Oh, in their... Oh, to clarify, um, yeah. Surely that has to be Patrick Bamford. Are you committing to Bamford? This isn't a trick. This is because of the summer. Yeah. Of I just want to. Yeah. yeah, it's Bamford. Yeah. Bamford okay. on 50 now. You'd be good at interrogations. You'd be very good at, interrogations. Be good at interrogations. Because you did the same thing with Joe last time a couple of times and, you know, made him doubt himself and things. So, to be yeah, fair, no, one, of them, one of them was to try and help him and he committed to it. So, yeah, yeah. Leeds United owners are an arm of which American football team? San Francisco 49ers. The San Francisco 49ers. Very nice. We're four of we're four in. I'm guessing yeah. we're still feeling all right. Yeah, I can deal with this. I can deal with this. Okay. So a bit of a spoiler for ahead for um round three, which is where we get specialty subjects. Your specialty subject was 2020 to 2021 and onwards, right? Yes. This one might sneak in before that, but I think you should be okay. Which Bielsa okay. era player held the club record for the most consecutive starts? Matthias Click. It's Click. Yeah, all good. He he played all of Bielsa's games. 
Yeah, except because the end of his run was when he was too hungover after we'd gotten promoted the night before. And then oh. we just played a bunch of kids. But honestly, I kind of respect that a little bit more than if he would have played because like Oh yeah, fine. completely. At, at that point, go for it, you're fine. Didn't didn't he come on though as a sub? Probably. Cause I'm sure he Maybe. was the only player to have played every single game under Bielsa, which would mean that I'm sure he came on and Derby had to give us a guard of honour, didn't they? They did, yeah, and that was yeah, incredibly and I'm funny. Sh- I'm sure he was in that game because obviously he was quite, um, yeah, yeah, he was very good. Also, yeah. So we've had the first five, five out of five. The first five are quite nice, easing people in. This one a little bit older than Matthias Klitsch. Who was Leeds United's first manager? And this is multiple choice. Was it Willie Buckles? Was it Dick Ray? Was it Nobby Holding? Or was it Herb Fuchs? <laughs> oh, one God. of those can is I... <laughs> actually the first manager of Leeds United okay right can you just say him again and I'll try and not be a child yeah uh, Willie Buckles Dick Ray Nobby Holding and Herb Fuchs. Um, we'll go with Ray. We'll go with Dick Ray. Yeah. Dick Ray is the correct answer. Oh, thank God for that. Oh. I was writing that question and I was like, I don't know if this is a mean question, if this is too much towards not actually a serious quiz. I couldn't make my mind up. I I ended up going for it. That's perfect. Brilliant. Um, This one is a bit cruel. It's from the same era. Which team replaced Leeds United in the original Football League after a tight vote? Wasn't it Port Vale? It was Port Vale. You got that a lot faster than I thought you'd get that one. Because Moscow White on the square ball that's, always that's, as soon as Port Vale comes up, yeah, yeah he, he goes on a on a rant. So yeah, he, he, got, he, he, got he goes me a that bit question. Madry, yeah. <laughs> uh true or false, Leeds United made a profit on Tyler Adams. This is with data from Transfer Marked. I think we did, because I think we got him for about 19 million, and I'm sure we sold him for about 25. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say you're right. We got him for 18 million euros and sold him for 26. So numbers, very close. Wrong currency, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's all good. Uh, Who managed Leeds United the last time we played a league game, specifically a league game, against Manchester United? Now, the person who managed us the last time was actually an interim manager. So who were we going for? Is it Skubala or is it the other American that we never actually can remember the name of because he was here for about three weeks? I'm going to say Scoobs. Yeah, the one I've gone with is Scoobs because no one can remember the other block. Fun Um, fact, Manchester United are the only team that Jesse Marsh never managed us. In his year and a bit tenure, he never managed us That's against kind of Manu. Yeah, because Bielsa got both of the games in in the previous season, and then obviously we played them. What was it like twice in two weeks? Something um, like that. Yeah. Yeah, both after he had left. So even though he was with us for over a year, he never managed us playing scum. Imagine the daft monologuing he would have done in that press conference. That would have been a nightmare. <sighs> Just imagine the pet talk before you're about to go out on Old Trafford. No, no, thank you, no, thank you. No, that is a bit... Ugh. According to the legendary song, Jermaine Beckford scored a fucking great goal, but where? And there are, as I did last week with the final question of this round, uh, five bonus points if you can get the month and the year. Oh, I can't remember. I'm presuming, I'm presuming it's the Manchester United goal. I'll give you the one point for that one. 
And it's the 3rd of January. Is it, maybe? What year? 2010. Oh, that was a bit good. Oh, yeah. I remember I've watched that. I've actually, I didn't watch it at the time, um, but I've watched that. It's on LUTV on, or was it on YouTube? But the full, the full game is on. We watched it one time when there was no football on. I think it was during pre-season, not this year, but the year before. Yeah, yeah. we watched it. So I remember yeah. that. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, something that I didn't expect to happen this early in the series. Uh, full marks from the first round. 15 out of 15. Fair enough. You're, you're more than halfway to Joe. You're yes. cruising your way up the leaderboard. But next we have some cheeky little ups and downs. Uh, higher or lower? So I'm going to start with the first one. And then from there, you have to let me know whether you think it's going to be higher, whether it's going to be lower. You know the gist. It's simple, quizzy stuff. Yeah. First up, we talked to Matthias Klitsch and his consecutive appearances. He got 92. Does Patrick Bamford have more or less Leeds United wins than 92? And this is according to uh, LUFC data. All of this bit is. League wins. I think so. <laughs> I'm LUFC data. Just according to their stats. Uh, there's an easy way that I can tell. I will sort by a certain stat for somebody that I was about to say out loud, and then I realised <laughs> that it would give away something. Uh, League and Cup. I'm going to say less. He's got less wins than 92. Patrick Bamford has 90 wins. Yep, less. Yes. yes. Strong start. Uh, Patrick Bamford, good Leeds player, does a job. Excellent Leeds player from the past, Eddie Gray. How many goals did he score for Leeds United? More or less than 90? More. Eddie Gray was primarily a defender as far as oh, I know. Gosh. 69 goals for Eddie Gray. Oh, I mean, that's not that far that's off. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that's really good for a defender. Oh, that is that is absolutely the point of this segment. This is where I go, oh, those numbers are really close. When I scroll through some stats and I go, that feels mean. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay, so that's my first one wrong. Okay. So yeah, so you've uh, the Leicester City of Evie has currently hit an iceberg. It's lost. Are we are we thinking of a stumble? Are we are we going to end up top of the table, or are we ending up playoffs at best? This is this is the um, West Brom game on the thirty first. Was, it, was that the 31st? I think that yeah, was the it, was, 31st, right? it was Preston, it was Preston on the 29th, Preston. and then, yeah, West Brom. So, no, that was my West Brom game. Okay, and we're, so, we're going to go unbeaten. Apparently, for good apparently we're going to go unbeaten for the rest of them now. Oh, God. Uh, so, anyway, 69 goals. Uh, tell me about Jack Harrison's goals. Are they more or less than 69? Less. Yeah, that was a nice one. 34. Which... Fair enough. I mean, he got plenty of goals while he was here. Now he isn't. Sod him. Uh, Jorginho Retair. Appearances, more or less than 34. Again, League and Cup or just League? League and Cup. More. 53. Uh, which, uh, if Joe is watching this back, he'll have a little bit of a flashback there because that's the exact same number as sub-appearances as Jamie Shackleton's made. <laughs> Um, so, Georgina Rota has appeared for Leeds United 53 times. Uh, he's very good at holding the ball. When he gets tackled, he doesn't get tackled. He just sort of bounces off him. Uh, and he's good at keeping possession. Is our average possession this season higher or lower than 53%? Uh, more. Less. Higher. 
It is higher. 58.1. Which is quite nice, isn't it? It's nice and comfy. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Uh, something else that makes me feel nice and comfy is goals. How many have Leeds United scored this season in the league? More or less than 58? Uh, more, it's like, I think it's like 68, I think. Or it's less than Leicester, but obviously our goal difference is better because we've conceded less goals, but they've scored more goals than us. I think maybe by two or something. We've either got 70 and they've got 72, or we've got 68 and they've got 70. We've got 70. Yeah, it's all good. All good. Um, and when we score goals, there's there's one person that always tends to be on the pitch because, you know, he's really good at making them happen. How many appearances has Junior Furpo made for Leeds United? I don't know whether my eyes could have rolled any louder than... They, they couldn't, no. <laughs> I'm going to say, how many games have we had from, so we've gone 14? We've played 38 of, this season so far. How many have we played from January? We've played like, we've played like 14 or 15 since January. And then I think there was maybe four before. So... What was the number before? Uh, it was 70 goals for Leeds, and this is Junior Furpo's combined appearances. I'm going to say Between... less. Less. He's played 73 times for Leeds. Oh, Junior, you see, he just lets me down. He lets you down. I'm perfectly happy with what he's done here. <laughs> um, now, a very important question. Did you watch my video that went out earlier today? Oh, I've got about halfway through. Mm, the one about the injuries? Yep. Ah. Uh, What's Leeds United's <sighs> win rate with Ilya Grove in the side? Right, so that's 73. I was nice. I did put it in there. <clears throat> I thought I'd be really clever, and I thought I'd watch the Joe video. To see it, to see like get the kind of lay of the land and kind of get comfortable. So I thought I was being really clever, and it turns out I just shouldn't have done that. Um, well, he didn't play that many, and at the beginning of the season, he had a weird stat that was we'd never, we'd never lost a game. You know when he used to come on as like a sub in like the ninetieth minute, um, yeah. until obviously that Stoke game. And we hadn't lost a game when he'd been on the pitch up until that point. So I'm going to say not... higher. I'm going to say higher than 73. That would be 81, yeah? Yes. I was going to give you a hint and say he's played 26 games for Leeds, which you can extrapolate a little bit. But, yeah, I think that's that's quite good, isn't it? That like, is. That is good. I. To find that one, I sorted all Leeds United players by win rate, and he is the most of anyone with more than 10 starts. <laughs> so very, very impressive. Yeah. yeah. And then, this isn't finally, I've read that wrong. We'll roll with it. Um, what's Leeds United's current points tally? Is it more or less than 81? Just to clarify, this is at time of recording before Leeds play Watford. I think this should go out before then. But... Did we get on? Aren't we on 81? And now I have a tendency to trick question. I wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't I'm say gonna... higher or lower. It's the same. <laughs> That would be really cruel, but that would be, be so evil. funny. Yeah. At the same time, that would be, you know, expert I'm, level shithousery, that would be. I'm just going to change this final question. Then. Hold on. <laughs> okay. And it was 81. 81. Ooh. 
less. Leeds United's points tally at the moment sits at 82. Oh! <laughs> I was so close to saying it, but I didn't know whether the two was just coming from my head of thinking we had to score two goals in order to go to Leicester. So the number two was in my head, but I thought I'd, I just need to stop overthinking things. I think that's the problem because you get into like a spot where someone's like asking you questions and you're like, no, wait, that is obviously the answer, but is it the answer? And you just yeah. sort of get into that little spiral. And finally for this round, uh, Crescencio Somerville's Leeds United starts more or less than 82? This season or just overall? Overall. Leeds United, overall. Ooh, that's really How would he have started difficult. 82 this season? No, <laughs> no, but if it's a less than, that, then that yeah, would, that yeah, would yeah. be less than. I would have a, lost my that tiny would, mind if I would have written that question. Yeah, but, yeah. And you hear Klopp complain about fixture congestion. <laughs> <laughs> See, he didn't. He didn't. I don't know whether he started a game in the twenty one twenty two season. I know he came on quite a few times when Rafinha got subbed off. But this is specific. Is it about appearances or starts? Starts. Starts. I'm going to say less than. And you would be correct. Starts and appearances were both the same answer. And really, I should have picked appearances because that's a significantly closer. Some of all started 50 games for Leeds. So from that round, we have uh, two mistakes, which puts you on <coughs> uh, 23 points so far. That's not too oh, bad. It's I, very I, nice. I, I've done my more than 20. I'm happy. There we go. You've passed. I've passed. This is where you get a frantic DM from Joe that's like, you can stop now. It's fine. <laughs> so, now we get to round three, which is the long list. The long list, there are 15 points up for grabs. You get three lives. If you get a guess wrong, lose that life. Your specialist subject was anything since 2021. And I ran through everything before this point with you, before the thing, just so you wouldn't actually know what the topic is, because that feels like it's cheating a little bit. Um, you don't look happy. <laughs> no, I wish I'd gone from 21, 22, because that's when I never missed anything. Whereas I was in and out of the 2020, 21 season. So now I feel that you'll have kind of picked up on that. Some sort of like link will have just told you that go for the, the first Premier League season back up. You seem incredibly paranoid and scared about that little fact, and that's that's kind yeah. of funny because I've not been that mean. Oh, um, thank God. Now, as I mentioned beforehand, because you have a few too many people on your list, um, your first two answers will only be worth half a point, so it will add up to 15 as you go. And I want goal scorers under Daniel Farker in the league and the cup. There are 16 of them. Okay, right. I'm going to get a notepad so that I can write it down because I'm a, quite a, a visual person. Okay. Right. So goal scorers under Daniel Park. This, now, is this just in the league or league is this league, league and cup? Okay. So um, we will go with um, Somerville. Somerville. I have accidentally changed tab. Uh, is on the list. Half a point. Then we will go for Cooper. Not who I thought you'd get early. Yes, Cooper is on the list. And I'll tell you why I'm doing this. I'm trying to do it chronologically throughout the season. You see how and that's then... insane, right? You <laughs> <laughs> um, then it was Ailing. That was the West Brom. That was the West Brom one all game. Yeah, that's three out of three. Yeah. Um, then we've got Geldhart in the cup. Yeah. Then 
Uh, we scored two in that game, but I cannot remember for the life of me who the other one was. I think it was another defender. Strauch. Strauch scored in that game. Strauch is on the list. He is oh, one, two, three, our seventh top scorer this season. Yes, surprisingly good at a penalty. Mm. Um, I think, weirdly, I think the people you wouldn't expect to be good at penalties are centre backs and goalkeepers, and they're all like yeah. really good at them because goalkeepers yeah. practice pens against goalkeepers. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, off topic, but that's why I would have gone for Rodon instead of James last night if I was in the Wales team. Plus, if you're a centre back, um, your job is just twat it hard, and it, if yeah, it goes exactly, in, it goes and in. that's usually what you need for for a penalty. Um, so Strauch, then, then it was the um, the next win that we had was Ipswich. So we had Sinistera. That was when I didn't think you'd get. Yep. Um, we had Rutter. We did. He somehow managed to find the back of the net. Yeah, we had Nonto. Mm -hmm. And we had Piro because that was his first game for us. And we had Piro. Yeah. So that um, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. You've got nine. So then. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Then we had. This might not be chronological order anymore um but we had anthony we did yep um we've had byron we have had byron yep um we've had um who else dan james has, yeah. Um, I feel like you're terrifyingly efficient at this, so I might also do like. An, no, I, no you... don't make it. Don't make it hard. No, just I'm, because I'm... I'm doing well. Do I take a life off you if you repeat one? Is the only question I'm asking myself right now. Ah, but I'm writing them down. Oh. So I'm not, I'm not going to repeat them <laughs> because <laughs> because I I know that I'm a visual person. If I write it down, it's fine. And you said that I could do it before. So yeah. you can't change the rules halfway through. Wrap it up, everyone. Maybe he's broken the quiz two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So we've got Dan James. Uh, we will go for... Um, uh, Patrick Bamford. We will go Patrick Bamford. We will go for three to go. And this is cup as well. League and cup. Yep. League and cup. Ampadu. That's the one that I didn't think you'd get because Ampadu in his entire career hasn't scored a single goal in the league for any of his clubs. And he got a brace in that game and as well. And he got two and, in that match. And, and he was involved in all three of the goals because he got the assist to the Patrick Bamford goal as well. I, um, I'm fairly sure God got the assist to that Patrick Bamford goal. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Matteo Joseph. Indeed. And we've got one to go. <laughs> no, I know Kamara definitely hasn't got one because of the fact that he never shoots. Um... I'm still going to hold that as the one argument I've ever won over you where you were clearly prepping yeah. an argument going in on Kamara and I was like, I think it actually made sense. <laughs> yeah, no, I humbly agree and resentfully agree <laughs> with the fact that, that you were you were correct with that one. Um, right, this is where my little brain is working over time. Because Archie Gray had his goal taken off him. Connor Roberts. Oh, the moment you said Archie Gray, I knew you were thinking about that Leicester match. <laughs> yeah. 
Connor Roberts. It would be Connor Roberts, indeed. Leaving you with <sighs> annoying <laughs> 15 out of 15 yeah. from that round. So I am going to pop together the leaderboard. I wonder where you'll end up. Who I knows? wonder. I wonder. <sighs> You type so aggressively. I've just got a loud keyboard. It's not, <laughs> I don't have an aggressive type. It's fine. Um, I can't believe you've gapped him that severely. I, it's, it's impressive. So, I, I was genuinely really nervous. I, I could call it impressive, or I could call it, honestly, a little bit disgusting. That's insane. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind being called that in this respect. <laughs> so, final scores. Evie, I don't, I don't think I need to ask. How do you think you did? I'm just gutted that I dropped points in the higher or lower one. That's the most Daniel Farker thing I've ever heard a person say. <laughs> And it's a little bit disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Final score is an absolutely terrifying, incredibly impressive 38 out of 40, with uh, Joe last week only managing 29. So I'm guessing you're happy with that? Yeah, I was genuinely, well, I said I'd be happy with 20. I was, I was serious. So I'm, I'm very, very happy. That'll do, yeah. Um, if you are a content creator and you want to take on Evie, I've got a couple of people lined up for the next few weeks who I'm not sure if they will break it. I think they will pick some nasty specialist subjects for themselves and wrap themselves into corners because that's the people they are, but we'll see. Um, pop on, see if you can catch up, see if you can get 40 out of 40. I think that's going to stay at the top for quite a while. You run for automatic promotion. How have you enjoyed your time? Oh, I absolutely loved it. There was some there was some brilliant questions in there. Yeah, there's... Uh, never it's... forget Leeds' first manager ever again. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I will never forget. Was it Dick Ray? You you half forgot his name then as well. Yeah, well, incredible. it's because I, I just didn't want to start, you know, saying profanities and then that was not what his name was and I was just there effing and jeffing you were, you were, you were on just your going stream. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed. Uh, this was all for Prostate Cancer UK. There will be a donation link down below. If you fancy donating, that would be absolutely fantastic. It's much appreciated. Hope you've enjoyed your time here, Evie. Uh, if you have liked Evie being on here, go and subscribe to her channel. I'll pop that in the description as well. I don't know whether anything will be up by then. Probably not, because this is going up in a day, but we'll find out. Yeah, um, pressure. <laughs> It's Schrodinger's YouTube channel. Eventually, the cat will die. <laughs> um, oh, no, I hope not. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, like, comment, subscribe, even become a channel member, all that sort of stuff, and I will see you later. And then this is the bit where I just sort of, I don't know what I want to say anymore, so I just sort of talk at the camera, and I hope that people stick around to the end. And I think you're one of the people that does stick around to the end. That's always yeah. quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> It's the little Easter egg. I like it. I feel like yeah. I've earned like some extra points. Well, welcome to the Easter egg. <laughs> it's <laughs> chocolatey. <sighs> Should put See Easter later. bunny. Easter bunny. Oh, Easter, Easter bunny. This far. Is that what we're doing? Easter bunny in the yeah, comments. Yeah. Okay, cool. E Evie, the 38 out of 40 monster, has said it's the Easter bunny. So it's the Easter bunny. See you later. <laughs>